Hi friends, welcome back to my apartment in LA. So before quarantine and stay at home orders, I hosted a little series called In Our Nature. While we were filming that, I learned so much about the importance of nature from childhood development to physical health and even to our mental health. Nature can help reduce anxiety, promote creativity, and contribute to the health of our heart. But amidst a global health crisis, nature can feel further away and harder to find for most of us. For me, looking at the news, scrolling through social media, or even thinking about the future are causing real stress. How do we connect with nature to stay emotionally and mentally healthy? Let's talk to some people. Uh, my name is Barry Greenleaf. I'm an associate professor of counseling at Seattle University. I'm a writer and I'm working on destigmatizing mental health. Um, I have two little girls and they are seven and three. I'm Kelly. I am the executive director at Tiny Trees Preschool in Seattle in King County. I'm a through hiker. I've hiked the PCT, the AT, the CDT for the Triple Crown of hiking. So first, how are you doing as a human? Uh, it's been kind of a, a stressful time, you know, mm -hmm. things are changing rapidly. It's been stressful and it's also been really beautiful to see some of the ways that we have come together and just the ways that people are taking care of each other. When you have kids that are used to going outside all the time, you know, they don't understand not getting to do that. It's little things. Um, my, my son is uh, a rising soccer star, taking him to practice three nights a week, games on weekends, and I, I underestimated how much that meant to me. Um, it's the little things like that where we realize it's a tough time. So every few months I have like a depressive episode where like I get bedridden and it really sucks and it can be um, super defeating at times. Um, but like this season has taught me how strong I am. It was really scary and vulnerable to come to staff and be like, I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna play out. Uh, this is very much a grief process and collectively. Uh, so now this is really facing the entire planet at the same time. And that's probably unprecedented in human history. These feelings of grieving and stress and anxiety are completely valid. In fact, some studies show that up to half of Americans are struggling with mental health issues during this time. For many of us, this is where we would head for a hike in the backcountry or a walk in the woods, a place to get away and de-stress. Nature is, is really like my happy place. It's the only place where you can kind of just unplug, unwind. Just like personally, like the outdoors has completely like saved me. And so to not spend uh, enough time uh, engaging with nature it can be very unsettling. I feel like people are understanding more than ever how important it is to get that breath of fresh air or notice the birds. The gains that the kids get when they get outside and I think that because we can't do it the way that we used to um, it's starting to affect them a little bit definitely. When we don't get outside and connect with nature it can affect us in more ways than we think. Studies show a connection between the lack of vitamin D that we often get from the sun and seasonal affective disorder. Also, natural noises and physical activity have been shown to increase our mood and productivity. Do you have any ways or advice or tips from your experience for how they can still stay connected to nature? I think it's very easy to underestimate the power that nature can have even in the form of a small plant. It is truly amazing how powerful nature can be for us mentally and emotionally. Studies show that bringing plants inside can help purify the air and the smells of plants lower stress. It's just me doing normal things. You know, I, I try to take a walk every now and then around my neighborhood. I actually did a, a the through hike of my yard. Gotta say, it just feels good to breathe out here. Going for a walk while maintaining social distancing guidelines can help us feel good physically and mentally. It's important to remember that outside is there, even if it's just your front steps. There are things that you can count on, like spring is coming. You know, this, right. the snow is melting at any given time during the day. Like I will go and I'll sit 
um, by a window. To just stare at the clouds and just think of how beautiful they are. That is like a huge win. Every single day that I choose to like see those things is like- We actually statistically underestimate the benefits of engaging with nature. And because we don't think it'll help, we might not try to do it. And even looking out the window or looking at clouds helps. In fact, one neuroscientist argues that looking up can activate the same brain space as meditation, dreaming, or probably any other form of artistic or creative activity. Looking out the window has even shown to affect our ability to heal. Classic studies following gallbladder surgery. One group was put in a room with windows and the other group was placed into rooms with no windows. And those who had that view healed physically much quicker. Even to have photos or screensavers, that also has a very positive impact. Whatever way that you can play uh, nature sounds, waterfall, raindrops, or birds calling or wind blowing through leaves. Because good research has shown that it also has an effect on our sense of well-being. It can be, you know, that little thing you may need just to get over that moment that you're in. Just being mindful of the small gifts that we do have right now. Take it like 12 minutes at a time. It's okay to feel not okay or it's okay to feel okay. But just know that we're all in this together. You're not alone, <laughs> excuse me. So hang in there. <laughs> the, you know, we're, gonna be, uh, we're gonna be okay in the end. Hearing from these people has been super impactful and I'm definitely aware of how important taking these steps are for my mental health. There's a lot of messaging out there right now around what we should be doing and how we should be spending our time. Remember that you don't have to do all of these things or be extra active right now. Just focus on one day at a time. Breathe in, exhale, and remember, we're gonna get through this time together. See y'all soon.